Hi Lassies, Tracy Kelly again. It's Tuesday, so it's time for Tuesday Tips with Tracy. I'm one of the directors in our group and I've been talking recruiting this month. So the very first Tuesday of this month, I talked about recruiting in general. Last week, I talked about bring a friend along. So if you get a new recruit, you want them to ask a friend to join them on their journey. And then today, I thought I would talk about objections. And I wish I could say all of these ideas are mine. Probably none of them are mine. I, I you know, I look at lots of trainings and I read books and things like that. You should be like a rolling university on wheels. I heard that from somebody and I loved it. I do that all the time. If I'm in the car or I'm on a walk, whatever I've got well, in the car, I don't have my headphones on, but on a walk, I'll either have my earbuds in or something and I'm training. I'm learning something. Even if it's just a 10 minute training, we can be continuously learning along our journey. Um, if I'm in the car, I usually have it on like you know, like speakerphone, and I just listen to trainings. I don't have to look at anything. I can just listen, let my brain kind of think about what they're talking about, and then when I get home, I can take some notes or what I want to remember about the training. So always be learning. That is a tip for all of us this Tuesday. Okay, so the objections I want to talk about, though, is when you start going to ask someone to join your team, there, there are going to be a lot of objections. Um, and they're not doing it to be rude. It, it's not even that they're not interested. It, a lot of times it's just they're scared or nervous or not confident about starting something new. So they come up with these objections. I don't have enough time. I don't know enough about natural products. You know, I don't have the money to join, things like that. So we need to have little ideas of ways to overcome those objections so we can wrap our arms around them and say, we're doing this together and I'm gonna be with you every step of the way and there's no reason to be nervous to jump in and give this business a try. So here are some objections. I'm gonna be reading them. So you have some of this verbiage. Um, and these are things, like I said, I got this from various places. I don't even know where most of it came from, but these are some good ideas, I think, of things we can say to, uh, some, to some of the objections we may get. So most people fear they don't know enough to join, they doubt their ability, or they think they don't have time. That's just the bottom line. So number one, what does it cost to get started? And all you need to say is keep it simple. Every answer should be super simple. We offer kits at different price ranges to fit your budget from $39 to $159 or whatever our kits are. I think that's what they are. Uh, but no matter what kit you choose, we have a jumpstart program to help you earn back your startup cost. Um, and then you can just say, hey, I'd love to talk to you more about that. They might say, how does it work? Number two. It's simple. We do two things. We promote amazing products. We promote a life-changing op business opportunity. That could literally be the two things you say to that. Number three, how do I make money? You could say jumpstart. We have a compensation plan you could share with them. We have incentive trips, all kinds of things that we can say to that um, objective. Um, I'm too busy or I'm so busy. Number four, you can say, I understand. Be a good listener. I understand. I'm busy too, and I was busy when I joined. I felt the same way. But most people work this business part-time, like 10 hours a week, 10 to 15 hours a week. And so you can easily fit it into the nooks and crannies of your schedule and your life. Number five, I don't have enough money. That's a big one. You can say, I appreciate that. Remember being that good listener. I appreciate that, that. Many people are in the same place due to COVID or they lost their jobs or they got less hours. Um, but that's all the more reason that you should join. I can show you how to get started making money right away. That's a really good way to overcome that objection. Number six, I'm not a salesperson. Boy, I hear that a lot. Terrific, me either. I just share what I love with others. Like a good pair of shoes, I'm just sharing products that I love. Number seven, I don't know anybody you know, to, to talk to or share these products with. And you could say, it's not who you know, it's who you're going to meet. So jump in and let's give it a try. Number eight, I don't wanna bug my friends. And you could say, thank goodness, I don't want you to bug your friends either. That's not what we do. We just share what we love and share, you know, what we're, what, what we love with others. And that's all you got to say. Number nine, I need to try the products first. 
So you could send them a discovery kit, let them try some samples, and then follow up to see what they thought. Tell them that their consultant kit would be a great way to sample a lot more of our products, get the best value, and that they'll earn as they learn. So tell them they don't have to know anything up front, they can earn as they learn. Number 10, and this is the last couple ones. Is this a pyramid scheme? <laughs> I actually don't hear that much, but a lot of people do. And you can say, no, why? Is that what you're looking for? <laughs> you know, or something like that, just to kind of throw them off track. And just say, pyramid schemes are illegal. With pyramids, there's no exchange of goods or services, but we have amazing products and very loyal customers. So no doesn't mean no forever. No just means not right now, or I just don't know enough to join. You gotta overcome the objections to kind of get them a little bit closer to thinking about trying out Lemongrass Spa as a business opportunity. Um, so many people, last thing, need multiple exposures to being asked to join your team. Sometimes up to 10 times before they'll finally say yes. And if they're not interested, you've got a brand new customer. If they are interested, you've got a new team member. So it's a win-win. You know, what is, as I said earlier this month, what is the bigger risk? The risk that they're gonna say no if you ask them or the risk or the reward that they're gonna join your team. So what's the bigger risk? You gotta think about what that would be. I would say I'm willing to take a whole bunch of no's if I can get to a yes, because that gives me another team member to go along on this journey with me and uh, you, it can be life changing. It truly is a gift of what we have to offer here at Lemongrass Spa. It changed my life, so I know it can change their life too. And so you wanna share that gift with others. All right, I hopefully this helped, gave you some ideas, jot down some answers, some verbiage that you can use, and let's go out and let's start sharing the business opportunity with others and uh, help them overcome the objectives, that the objections that they may have and bring them along on this Lemongrass Spa journey with us. With us. All right, thanks.